Overs later on. Now, though, uh, Jimmy Mystery and Flavia first fell in love in 2010 when they were partnered together on Strictly. They later got married and in 2020 they decided to swap showbiz for a quiet life in the country when they bought a seven acre farm in need of some TLC. Well, Flavia and Jimmy are here to tell us more and they've brought along a very special guest <gasps> who has literally charmed all of us. So, <laughs> who is this? Introduce us to the new member of the family. Go on. This is Omar Fox Red Lab. He's 15. He was 15 weeks, 15, yes, weeks. 15 weeks yesterday. He's really calm. Yeah. I mean, I think, he is. Is that, that, are you training him or is he just a good one? Yeah, we're definitely training <laughs> a him. Bit of, a bit of both. A bit of he both, is yeah. a good but one. But he's naturally amazing, yeah. Naturally yeah. very yeah. calm. I've been Beautiful. training him. When dogs TV live on, when they live on farms, they some they they're just so used to people and uh, right. they run around and they're a lot calmer, aren't they? The most yes, dogs. Yes, he's got yeah, a lot dogs. of freedom. He's already met all the the sheep and the chickens. Oh. Um, we've got two kittens, yeah. so he's getting to see everything and everyone. So yeah. you have done that. I mean, lots of people talk about this. They go, oh, "Wouldn't it be lovely? The dream one day, move out, have a bit of land, grow your own vegetables." And a lot of people, majority of people, never do yeah. it. But you. Did yeah. yes. Why? We went for it. <laughs> Why? Good question. Yeah. Do you want to tell a short story? Yeah. Of it? Well, sure. I mean, we could be here for days. No, right. Tell you the long version. But um, yeah, it's something that we've always wanted. We always dreamed of having that from way back. Not long after we met, we started yeah. talking about sort of having land and growing veg and animals mm -hmm. and things like that. And then it was 2020. Um, 2020. 2020. Yeah, COVID. So really, lockdown, like for yeah. so yeah, many yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where we just really questioned what we actually truly wanted. And yeah. we kind of, we just put put it out there a little bit. And there. then before you knew it, the universe had taken over and it was whirlwind and the house was sold. And literally eight months later, we were literally turned In up at a small holding that needed a lot, a lot of work. Right. And it was like, whoa, OK, we've done this now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just rolled our sleeves up and... We uh, haven't looked back. Yeah, we haven't looked back since. It was just, it's almost like... We've done it before, like in a previous yeah. life. It was meant to be. Yeah, we, we just, just yeah. did it. We, we did, the most never glamorous had any farmers experience. I've ever seen in my life. My, <laughs> oh, my yeah. son has <laughs> right. it up. Today, Today we are. Today we are. You want to see our some Instagram, of the yeah, not but the, so the glamorous. Thing is, when you got there, I mean, it's also that destiny and this is something which I definitely believe that has a part to play, but this wasn't easy. I mean, it didn't all slot into place. And when you no. got there, the house no. that you were in, it needed a lot of work doing and the yeah. weather wasn't great. The weather, yeah. It was a storm Christoph when we moved Storm there. Christoph when we moved in um, and it'd been sort of empty for about eight months. So you can imagine a small holding, seven acres, it's totally mm -hmm. overgrown. Um, and the weather for that first year was, was pretty horrific. brutal. It was like storm after storm. Uh, but we kind of just... We just cracked on with it. We just got on with it. Because no one else um, was going to do it apart from us. Didn't have um, yeah, we just had to get on with it. And we it's such a beautiful place and just being around nature. I mean, the first morning we came down and we had these... Um, Pheasants in our in the garden, just looking through the window. We didn't know what they were. We had to get a and book we had out, to like Google what, what they were. We, we <laughs> thought it was guinea fowl. Are? And, <laughs> and I mean, that's how you are learning, we learning the job. We did, yeah. So, so you the... know, it was just the connection with the animals and the nature was just instant. Yeah, it's not just animals because you're also growing your own produce yeah. too. Um, when yeah. you bought the house, it had this big poly. Tunnel, tunnel for growing veg. Did yeah. you know anything about growing vegetables? Did you know where to begin? No, 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 we used not to say, at all. Do not, because obviously, I, you know, I was on tour for about eight years, and yeah. Jimmy was away so much. We used to say, "Don't buy us a house plant," because we just couldn't. We couldn't keep anything keep alive one, in know. the house. We were so, never there long enough. No, so we kind of got there, and we thought, well, we've got a polytunnel now. We need to learn how to grow stuff. So yeah. we literally just got books out and. Yeah. Just put it in the ground. We did lots and see of research happens, you know? before, we, during the process of the move. We got books on like chicken keeping, small holding books, yeah. how to grow your own, you know, how to have a polytunnel. Look at that. Um, this is amazing. impressive. You've yeah. got yeah. a thing. Like it's a thing. Well. Like prize lettuces. <laughs> yes. I just think it's um, it's a it's a lovely story. You haven't come on here to sell books or anything like that. You just wanted to come and tell people how you yeah. can yeah. change your life. You can move from a city and live out your dream. I mean, yeah. and yeah. it's working for you. It's yeah, it's yeah, absolutely. Has. And, and you know, everything is opened up for us from it. I mean, we when we when we first moved there, we set up our little Instagram account for it just to document the whole journey. Just what, what is the, the Instagram account? You should say our, this our because life our barn. life at the barn. Yeah, yeah, I and then you know that sort of snowballed, and there's a whole load of people now who kind of a part of it and it helps us, helps them and isn't it? It's like a yeah. little community of, of people who follow us now and uh, who are being inspired 
to maybe go off and do the same things, yeah. you know. But We've if you've got some holiday cottages as well, yeah, so yeah, yeah. people can now come and stay as well and have so a little bit of an experience. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so they can come and, uh, and experience a bit of, you know, why nature and why we did it, yeah. I, I had to laugh at the introduction saying, uh, you know, they, they wanted to a quieter life. Uh, yes, not no, quite. Not quite. No, no. Yeah. That did yeah. make us giggle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about the extended family you now have on the farm. Like, and what, what's the daily routine like? What do you get? Oh. Uh, well, early mornings. Early mornings. Oh. Um, clean the chickens. Yeah. Get that out of the way. And it's not a pleasant job. It's, I know it's it and it's twenty-four chief, chickens. Chief yeah. chicken cleaner. So I'm the, You're very yeah. good at it. Actually. Yeah. You get the best eggs. So. It's yeah. amazing. It's so Love worth it. it. Yeah. They're, they're, they're so much fun. They've all got their own names and characters. And, it's... and they are a bit partial to a chicken. Ice lollies. <laughs> ice lollies, yeah, they, they have, have ice lollies, they have so bears. They're the hot. best kept chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah because they have, um, they What's find it very chicken hard in ice lolly? Well, it's just uh, pomegranate. Fruit, pomegranate, we put blueberries, um, strawberries, um, um, a bit of melon. Um, melon. Put it in, put some water in, and they're, they're yeah. great. They you put it in containers and then just. just and they so peck up, yeah, they peck at it all it. day. Yeah, they, yeah, they're yeah. very spoiled, I would they say. They are very spoiled. Oh, not a nice lolly made of chicken. I got that one. No, nah, you can't give that no. to a chicken. No, but I give that to the dog. Oh, OK, oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's fine. fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. yeah chicken that's stock okay. ice pops. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not misreading this badly, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, But you've also got sheep. What, these incredible sheep that are... Yeah. Yes, we've got these rare breed... Um, Usan sheep. sheep. Usan, Usan sheep from Brittany. They're the tiniest little sheep in the world. They're really tame. You get them mostly in sort of petting farms and... Therapy farms. Yeah, and we, we started off with three boys, three weathers, and we got four ewes. Oh, then beautiful. we got Ernie the ram. Yeah, and we got our first lambs. And then we had our first four lambs oh, this, this year. And yeah. now we're getting the wool processed. And, uh, yeah, so we'll have some wool from them, so which we can is make stuff amazing. And it's just carries um, on and on and on and on. So yeah. you don't, now that you've done this, and what started out as a bit of a lockdown yes. experiment, now you look back and where you are, and now you've got gorgeous Omar, who's literally the best behaved puppy ever. <laughs> um, are you glad you did it? Is there any times when you wake up and go, oh, I wish I was in a grey city? <laughs> uh, de depths of winter can yeah. be challenging. Mm -hmm. We've had a few storms uh, in the last few winters, yeah. and they are tough, but... Our lives have completely changed for the better, mm. without a shadow of a doubt. You know, we were kind of on the, 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 the rabbit, the hamster wheel for so many years, uh, working, working, working. And uh, this was the time when we had to take time out for ourselves mm. and readdress things. Mm -hmm. And actually, life has done now is has been a fantastic ride for us. And yeah, yeah it's the best thing we ever did. Still dancing? Good. Dance. Yes. Yeah. yeah, still dancing, yeah. Yes. Still doing lots of teaching locally and sort of in the whole of the surrounding areas. Yeah. And, you know, we travel around the UK as well occasionally. Um, doing yeah. things. So, yeah, we still... Imagine yeah. them arriving in your rural area as the new dance teachers. So, yeah. yeah. That's kind of how that's it kind was. Of how it people thought it was yeah. a bit of a joke to begin with. It's okay. like, so lucky. Um, yeah. It's lovely to see you. It's yeah. so, I'm so happy well you brought Omar in. Um, yeah. The Instagram account to follow your incredible life that you have now, our life at the barn, um, and that's on Instagram. Thank yes. you. Can Thank Omar you. stay for the day? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. you're quite good. happy, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness, so good. Still to come.